Hey, I'm Monica with Pitcam, and I'm here with Devin from IC Stars. Hey. Hello. <laughs> How's the tour going so far? <laughs> uh, it's going really good. Um, this is only our third time back in Europe, so uh, we are uh, really excited to be back. And uh, every, every time we've come back here, it's been a little bit better, so there's growth. How's this album been received by the fans so far? Oh, it's been great. Um, I really, uh, I, I always set my expectations very low okay. because I find that you'll never be disappointed. So my expectations were way over exceeded and uh, um, fans have been super supportive of the album and just fell in love with it instantly and, and new fans are, are coming every single day. I mean, mm -hmm. we, our social networks are, are getting, are just growing uh, significantly. And uh, I, you know, I know it sounds stupid, but I, I really do pay attention to that, and I think that has a big part to do with with the music industry today is is your social networking because it's a good way to connect with fans, and mm -hmm. and uh, it's a good way to kind of uh, I guess estimate your growth. And um, according to all those all those uh, statistics, I guess it's it, there's there's growth happening, and and that's all I really want. You know, I never expect too much. As long as there's there's an in, a steady incline, that's all I, I ever ask for. And and there's been an, a significant incline since New Demon, so I, I'm super thankful. Mm. Um, everything about this album, the title, the lyrics, everything is kind of dark and personal. Would you say that this is your more, most personal album to date? Absolutely. I mean, I couldn't really pick a word better to describe it. Uh, we've never really been a band to get that personal with our lyrics. Um, but this being our fourth record, we really wanted to let the fans in on who we are. and, and show that we don't, we're not just a band that writes about conflict, we're a band that also personally lives it every day of our lives on and off tour. And um, it's, I think it's something that our fans find easy to relate to. And I think that's why it's so interesting to write about it because I think that if you can write a song that your fans can listen to and, and truly think that you're writing it for them. I mean, there are so many songs in my life that I listen to and I'm like, wow, that song was written for me, you know? And uh, that's kind of what I wanted to do with, with a lot of these songs. I wanted to really touch our fans and, and I think the best way to do that is to open up to them. And this being our fourth record, I think it was a appropriate time. Uh, you have a new video out for yep. the song Murder Mitten. Now that one is definitely personal uh, and very powerful. Why did you decide to make this one, to make this video? Well, that was probably the most personal song on the album. Uh, it was very, lyrically it was very, I think, very blunt on what we were talking about. Um, and if it wasn't blunt, blunt enough, we really wanted to give a solid visual. Yeah. and. Um, uh, the quote that, that's at the end of the video I think is very important because you know, there was a time in my life, especially looking back at those videos, um, it's really hard for me honestly to look back at those videos because it reminds me of what my life used to be, you know, when my parents were together and um, it was carefree, you know, like I was living a carefree life and I was a little innocent kid with an innocent mind, uh, really no, there's been no nothing really that's happened to me at that point in time that I can remember that was uh, tragic and the first thing I can remember is when my parents split up and it led to my mom drinking and uh, it was very really, it's very hard because um, up until maybe five months ago um, my mom was an alcoholic you know after the divorce and that was you know almost 12 13 years ago and I think that's something that everyone can relate to is divorce. I mean, it's really sad on um, the divorce rate in, in America um, specifically. And um, it led to a lot of tragic events in my life. And I think the, morals, the moral of the video is just to turn that into something good. You know, I mean, I t channeled all of that into a song and, and, into, and really into just creating this band. We all did, you know. and. Uh, it was our way of handling all the bad things. We came together and, and turned it into something positive and, and turned it into a way to help people that are going through the same things we're going through. So I think that's the message, is just to never lose, lose hope and, and try to find positivity in, in the negative things that happen in your life and try to, try to make something positive out of it. So. Did you and Andrew at any point have any doubts about exposing yourselves and your family? Like Absolutely. This? I mean, we still are are super nervous about it every day. Um, I know, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's so personal that it's, it's really, I can't even watch the video. I don't even like showing people the video because I, I, 
I don't know. I, I just get really emotional about it, and, and honestly, I, I get super teary eyed. And I talk to a lot of my friends, and even a lot of fans, and, and just outsiders, but especially friends and people that are close to me. I mean, they get super emotional watching it too because they know exactly how rough it's been for our family. So um, it's it's one of those things that I. I have to do on my on my own time is watch the video if I'm looking to analyze it I have to watch it on my own time because I can't help but get super emotional it, it it'll twist up my mood but I think it's a uh, it's got a really good light at the end of the tunnel and at the end of the video and yeah. that but that still gets me emotional so I gotta watch it by myself yeah. most of the time at least what kind of feedback have you received from the fans after the release of the video really good feedback I mean um, I, I haven't really seen a negative thing about it which yeah. is good um, because I don't know how you could be negative about something that's so deep, yeah. you know? But um, I'm sure there's people out there that could find a way, but for the most part, it's been really, really positive. And um, I think that that's cool because I want, I want to be able to feel comfortable uh, being personal uh, with my lyrics. And, and um, it's good that the fans are being super positive and, and very, uh, very uh, I guess, friendly about it yeah it's really uh it was hard for us to do that so it was really good to have them be supportive of it mm. well having experienced something like this within your family how has that changed your view of on life oh entirely i mean i i honestly wake up every day wanting to just do better in life just uh I, I want i want to be able to help my family out and that's why i that's why i'm doing this you know i want i want to be able to to come forth and, and, and really just make my family's life a lot easier. You know, I think we all, we all, we all stick together. I mean, that's what family's all about. And there's some hard times going back, at, going on back at home. And, and uh, it's, it's a struggle in Michigan, honestly, you know. So um, I'm just trying to do my part and, and, and make my family proud. And uh, I, do this, I do this every day for them. So. Well, the title, Murder Mitten, it has a story as well. Uh, yeah. Tell me about that. It's uh, it's originated by the by the struggle of Michigan. I mean, Michigan is just uh, it's going through hard times, like I said. Uh, and I think that that everybody that that's staying strong there is is uh, they're all troopers. Honestly, I mean, I'm from Michigan, but I I'm never in Michigan. You know, I'm, Mich I'm in Michigan three months out of the year. I'm always touring, so I feel for I feel their pain. I guess you could say. Uh, one word that I see all the time being used to describe you guys is underrated. Do That's you nice. <laughs> do you guys feel that way as well? Do you feel like you constantly need to prove yourselves? Uh, I think that even if we were, even if we were where I want to be right now, I would always I always have goals, and I always constantly am setting goals and trying to reach them. I don't think of that as a bad thing, but um, I'm. I, I like the fact that we're thought of as an underrated band, but you know it kills me because there's so many underrated bands out there with such good talent, and there's so many overrated bands out there with not so much talent. And I'm not bad. I would never bash on any band that is putting everything that they have into something, and uh, you know, having success, getting success over it, or having success because of it. It's like that's a good thing, and I'm not and I'm not looking to bash on people. But I think that there's a lot of talented bands out there that don't get the attention that they deserve, and I just think that's that's bad. I mean, like if people consider our band one of those bands, I think that's great, and spread the word. You know, tell a friend, show a friend the album, do everything you can to help spread the love on Icy Stars. But um, you know, I think that people should also realize that there's tons of other underrated bands out there, and they shouldn't be so close-minded. They should just try to search and find them and discover them and spread the word uh, do everything you can to help sh uh, show off good music because there's a lot of underrated bands out there i like to consider us uh, um, a uh, up and coming yeah yeah so what's next for you guys we're doing a uh, co-billing with attila in the u.s uh, in february february march but um as for anything afterwards, um, we're, we're in the building process of the year, so nothing I could really talk about right now, but I know that we do have strong plans to come back to Europe, absolutely. So I think that's like number one on our priority list, honestly. Sounds good. Thank yeah. you so much for talking to me. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Like I went to school and I was acting real cool around my friends, like, yeah, check it out, it's refreshing. Got stepped on, got like treated really, really bad, and so like half the ink's falling out. 
Yep, that's my first tattoo. 